Today's spooktacular spot, we're having a look at the Monster 500. Number two, Leadfoot. He's the lunatic legends. Scary good lights and sounds. This is the last figure that we're having a look at from the Monster 500 line, or at least from the larger line. It says try me as he does roar. Actually, it says snarl, but you get the idea. Unleash a monster car in the free Monster 500 racing app. You can just scan that QR code at the top corner. Got it? Good. Spin around the back. The other figures consist of Zoom Zombie, Crockpot, Flat Top Frank, and Lead Foot. But funny enough, you'll see that's one, two, three, and five. They don't list a fourth www.monster500.com. You can check out other things going on over there. It says, look for Monster 500 code on the trading card inside the bottom of this box. Use it to unlock a monster car in the free Monster 500 racing app. Which one will you get? You will never know. Actually, you will know. You just have to look at the card. There's also the promotion here indicating the clown. Maybe the clown was the other one, but I have not seen it anywhere. I've only seen these four. That being said, Spot's going to take a very terrifying break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Monster 500 lead foot. More heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. With lead foot, pardon my arm, you get yourself a trading card. It says Monster 500. Squatch the competition, as this is a Sasquatch or Bigfoot. If you'd like to call it a Bigfoot as well. Uh, it is number two, lead foot. On the back of the card, he's not that evil. Just like Flat Top Frank, not that evil. There is a card code down below, that's for you. If you would so like to use it. Uh, a read up on Leadfoot says, Living large, Leadfoot does everything in a big way. Biggest parties, biggest houses, biggest races, you name it. He used to be in hiding, but now you can't keep him out of the spotlight. Oddly enough, his publicity photos always turn out blurry. Motive, he wants fame, strength, confidence, weakness, overconfidence, vehicle, supercharged, road, hog, log, and quote, go big or go home. I love these little cards, Spot will be holding on to all of these. Put that to the side. You also get some instructions, just showing you how to change out the batteries. Do take your batteries out, dude. Take your batteries out when you're not displaying these so that when you don't come back, you don't get a fright and have leaking batteries everywhere. That shows you how to change out the three 1.5 volt batteries required to give this guy lights and sounds. Putting that also to the side, let's have a look at Leadfoot. Well, feet, definitely, he lives up to it. He's got huge feet. Huge! I don't even know how you could soup up a log, but somehow Leadfoot has managed to do it. He is heavy. There's a lot of heavy weight on him, and of course the weight is more localized in the front of him rather than the back of him. He's got some exhaust coming out with some fire. This section will light up. I'll show you guys that in a second. And though it may not look like anything other than a niche in the log itself, this is the button that you press to turn on the lights and sounds. He has two big wheels. He has two small wheels. Two small wheels when my hand isn't in the way. So, he does roll very, very easily. Sometimes when you roll him, at least on this fabric backdrop, he does tend to sometimes get snagged on the front. But that's just the way that, that's how he builds his, his cars. Out of a big chunk of log. Face is cool. They always seem to have one singular, like, lever that they activate. I don't know how he could steer. It's basically just on and off but somehow that gets him through the race. I guess the race is just one straight narrow way. It's not bends and tur uh, turns and stuff like that. Uh, no posability on any of them. That's not really what they do. They do exactly what they're doing right now. Less for the lights and sounds, which I'll show you guys in a second. Actually, we'll show it right now. You press the button on the back, and when you press it, watch these areas here will light up. And first he growls. You can hear the chainsaw and growling. Perhaps he's building his vehicle. And finally, the completed vehicle. This basically has cycled through his entire day of building this vehicle. I can't imagine it took any longer than a single day because of how crude this ended up looking. 
speakers on the back and again pressing the button him waking up in the morning like oh must build car must cut down tree for car car now finished paint's quite good on him I like the extra dark wash that they put him in on him as well he's a good looking figure I'm not sure he's my favorite but let's review the other ones that we've looked at there's lead foot there is Crock-Pot. Just move him over there a bit. Zoom Zombie. And finally, Flat Top Frank. There is the Monster 500 cars. You guys can let me know which one's you. Which one is your favorite? I feel like I'm kind of gravitating a little more towards Zoom Zombie and Crock-Pot. I just find that he's... I just find there's a little bit more oomph going on to them. Plus, I'm a sucker for the Hearst. I like the Hearst with the little zombie drive wall. I say little. None of these are little at all. These also are available in the smaller figures. We're going to be looking at those as well during the month of Spot-tober. But Spot wanted to have a look at the larger ones too. Because again, all of them have the lights and sounds. Very cool pieces. Maybe not something I'm going to have out every, the whole year. But guaranteed, during Halloween... These guys will see light of day. And then we're going to have a rad race of epic proportions. Who will win? I don't know. If it involves turning, I don't feel this guy is going to be winning the race. But that's that's just me. Today's spooktacular spot, we're having a look at the final figure from Monster 500's larger lights and sound vehicles. And we're looking today at Leadfoot, the very scary Sasquatch who built his car out of just a big log stay tuned guys spots can have more terrifying reviews heading your way this month of spottober thanks for watching I'll see you next time